We got a minute and 38 seconds on the clock. We got one timeout left. We're behind four points. We got 76 yards. We need a touchdown to win the game. I'm playing in my 23rd football game in a row. I have not missed a play all year long. I've lost 14 pounds to dehydration because it's 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Dick Butkus is standing on the other side of the ball, my blocking assignment. He's jumping up and down. He's never been tired a day in his life. I do not want to put my foot in front of the other foot. I don't think I can get to the line of scrimmage, much less hike a ball and protect John Unitas or Bart Starr. I do not want another Super Bowl ring. I do not want money. I don't want a contract. I don't want fame. I don't want anything except one thing. This is what I don't want to win the game. All I want is to quit. All I want is to suck on oxygen and drink some water and lie down and either die or I really don't care. <laughs> so if all that stuff you read about in the newspaper does not make me function, what does? What makes me function in that hour when I'm so tempted? Because see, in football, you don't have to leave the field. You don't have to get carried off the field to quit. All you have to do is just turn your shoulders this much. Let Dick Butkus go back there and sack John Unitas, game's over. Now I can go over here and suck on the oxygen and it's okay. And nobody would know, right? Wrong. Here's the motivation. Twofold. I've been talking about it all day today. I look inside and there's a flame that never flickers as long as I can access it. It is my God-given human potential to be more than I ever thought I could be. To go beyond the limits that I've set for myself. And number two, just as importantly, maybe more important, but I look at this poor son of a gun next to me, and I know because our coach has driven us beyond the limits of our endurance so many times, I know what he's going to do. I know he's going to give it more than he's got. And in that instant, I have found my motivation because I cannot let him down. I cannot let him down. I must throw my log on the fire however pitiful my little supply is. You want to know why the great teams keep winning? That's why. Do the great teams have the best players? Usually not. When you come to the moment of truth in your life, and you want to lie down and die, and you want to give up, and you want to be less than God meant you to be, you'll make the right decision if you have prepared yourself for that moment enough times. Every time you make the right choice and do the hard thing and continue to the end of your commitment, it gets more likely that you're going to do it next time. Every time you give in and you quit and you deny your integrity and you do the wrong thing, every time you do that, it gets a little easier to do that. You are a product of your great human potential. 